I'm driven to a large extent by the fact that we're dealing with a range of environmental problems whose consequences are not well understood and that we're running out of time to do something about them. Ecologist Simon Levin has devoted his life to using mathematics to uncover the hidden patterns in nature, from seed dispersal to the movement of animal herds and decision-making in societies, all in an effort to solve problems of vanishing biodiversity and environmental degradation. A lot of my early work had to do with plant communities in which one was confronting both ecological and evolutionary questions. The evolutionary questions are important because they not only help us to understand why we see what we see and how organisms have survived, but they help us to anticipate how populations will change in the future. Also, I've been able to use insights from the study of natural systems to think about how we might deal with challenges facing us in social systems. Levin is known for his work on complex adaptive systems that operate on different scales, yet interact with one another and the environment. We've really got to understand the scales at which processes are taking place, whether that's the cell or the individual in a society, and the scale at which the consequences of these interactions are manifest at the whole system level. Mathematical models are crucial for that. Levin's investigations have highlighted the importance of one aspect of human decision-making. For me, the greatest problem facing human societies going forward is learning to cooperate. We live in a global commons. We all depend upon various resources and services that are, are increasingly being threatened. Unless we find ways to cooperate more effectively, we're not going to be able to sustain the planet for future generations. Levin's research into the dynamics of ecosystems has been instrumental in creating predictive tools for environmental change. We have control over what we do. We need to recognize that the processes that have sustained our environments are breaking down because of the ease with which we can impact the globe on broader and broader scales. I have children, I have grandchildren. I'm concerned that they have a world that they can continue to enjoy and that generations after that can continue to enjoy.